The birds are flocking around Samuel. Hey, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. That's one thing I truly love about our Shady Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Ich bin gerade überlegen, war ich schon im Wald? Habe ich einen Reh da beim Leuchtturm? Ich sag einfach mal, ich habe einen Reh gesehen. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> What do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. So... What did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Essensreste? Oh, ich Release bin noch Kraken. Come on, Squirrels. Time for your 15 minutes of fame. I better not get near the bench or the squirrel won't take the food. Wollte ich gerade fragen, ob ich mich von der Bank entfernen soll? Wie weit? Ich bin noch von der Bank weg. Komm schon, Eichhörnchen. Komm schon. Schnapp dir dein Essen. Was ich extra für dich aus dem Müll geholt habe. Jetzt mache ich ein Foto von dir. Yes! Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. Oder werfen konnte. So. Jetzt gehen wir mal hier zu der Mitläuferin der Victoria schlampe Ich bleibe bei dem Begriff für sie. Hi Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Okay. Taylor ist auch ein bisschen unsympathisch. Ist hier noch die Scheibe kaputt, wo der Football in der Episode 1 reingeflogen ist? Ja, aber ich kann es leider nicht mehr fotografieren, weil ich glaube, das war ein Foto, was ich in der ersten Episode vergessen habe. Shit. The window was still broken after I warned Alyssa about the rogue football. One little thing changed the course of that window's life. Vielleicht sollte ich sie nicht mehr warnen. Aber ich bin Super Max. Warren G, der Gangster-Rapper. Max, it's over here. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. 
I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Sage ich ihm das oder sage ich ihm das nicht? Hm, hm, hm. Schwere, schwere Entscheidung. Soll er sich raushalten oder soll er... Ach komm. Ich vertraue ihn jetzt einfach mal und erzähle ihm das. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I was too scared to tell Principal Wells. Please don't say anything. I'll give you more info later. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Planet Affen mit ihm? Ja. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Mal gucken, ob ich ihn später noch versetzen kann, wenn ich danach zu Lust habe. Aber nach der Aktion, wo er halt hier sich mit Nathan geprügelt hat, dachte ich mir, kann man erstmal ja sagen. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Auf zum Frühstücken. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Sprechen wir hier einfach wahllos Passanten an. Ja, machen wir mal gucken, was der alte Mann zu sagen hat. Wahrscheinlich nicht. No time for chit chat. 
I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Erhalte das Herzblut von Arcadia Bay. Rette die Bucht. Rettet die Bucht. Beendet die Menschen gemachte Dürre in der Bucht. Menschengemachte Dürre. Warum? Egal. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat. Until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Spät dran, schnapp dir einen Tisch im Diner. Mama füttert dich. Das hoffe ich. Vielleicht schaffst du es zum Mittagessen. Warum habe ich so Vorleseprobleme? Okay, wenn ich ganz ehrlich bin, ich lese eigentlich ganz gerne mal ein Buch, aber habe das seit mindestens fünf Jahren schon nicht gemacht oder vielleicht auch nur drei Jahre. Wohnmobil? There's that dirty RV from the other day. Kann man durchs Fenster gucken? Obviously nobody took my advice. Ach. Das ist das Wohnmobil vom Schulparkplatz, wo ich ins dreckige Fenster was geschrieben habe. Oh, ein Hund, cool. Oh, stop that, stop. No barky. There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. Schade, schade, schade. Hier geht's zum Diner. Gucken wir noch mal kurz hier. Excuse me, sir. Can you believe this town? The world is on fire and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds. The snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm sunny day. Oh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. You mean Rachel Amber? Well, I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Okay. Netter Truck, netter Truck. Kann man den irgendwie fotografieren? Nope, I don't want to go there. Ich aber. Ah, ich dachte, drüben wäre was. Gucken wir hier nochmal in die Hintergasse. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town.
Nehmen wir mal die Prescotts. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead. Like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a Prescott. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. Have you met Joyce's daughter? Cute girl. Pissed off. I used to see her and her pretty friend, uh, Rachel, around a lot. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. Okay, ich hätte vielleicht mal nach äh, Rachel Ember fragen sollen, anstatt ein neues Thema anzuschneiden, aber egal. What changes to the town? Once it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town, put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. Do you know anything about Rachel Amber? That missing girl? I know she's missing. And I know she hung out here a bit. Sometimes I'd see her walking, all by herself, deep in thought. Too damn young and pretty to look so worried. Did you talk to her? Once or twice she'd talk to me about trouble in school, wanting to be some model in California. She was always distant, but nice. I pray the poor thing is all right, but you can't save everybody. I have to go now. Goodbye. Viva, viva. Man kann nicht alle retten. Warum laufe ich eigentlich hinter dem Diner rum? Das ist so ein bisschen Rollenspielmäßig. Immer erstmal dahin gehen, wo man nicht hingehen soll, um zu gucken, ob man noch was findet. Ach, nice! Von hier aus kann ich den... Sehr geil. Sehr geil. Von hier aus kann ich den Hund äh, fotografieren. Ja, ich gucke nochmal kurz ins Tagebuch, welche Fotos ich habe, einfach damit ich möglichst alle mitnehmen kann. Aber äh, das werde ich rausschneiden. Ich war ja gerade im äh, Tagebuch. Habe hier so gut wie alle äh, Fotos, glaube ich, mitgenommen. Nur hier irgendwie Sonne und dieser Schild. That sign reminds me of so many times I ate here with Chloe and my family. When we were happy. Ich will jetzt nochmal gucken, ob ich das eine Foto hier noch mitkriege. Ich guck nochmal ganz kurz ins äh, Tagebuch. Laut Tagebuch soll aber hier dieses Wahlschild... Wow. Bin ich gerade durch die durchgelaufen? Warum kann ich nicht das Foto machen? Okay, ich habe den Punkt gefunden. Das 
smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware mm, makes me feel 13 again. Kennen wir hier irgendjemanden? Erstmal auf die Toilette. Nice! Das kann ich fotografieren. Nice, nice. That graffiti has been here forever. Oh, wir müssen uns auch nicht immer alles angucken. Kann ich beim Kaugummi-Automaten was ziehen? Ein Kaugummi? Ja, schade. Okay, will ich mit dem Polizisten reden? Hey, die kenne ich von meiner Schule. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You crack me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School? Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Hey, Trevor. Hello, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now that is a real problem at the uh, Two Wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. Das ging ja dann gegen mich. Wer hat ihm das erzählt? Bestimmt dieser... Lisa? David? Keine Ahnung. Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scan. Joyce said that we belong to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. I just tell that loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Besides, David Madsen's watching over. Is she a friend of yours? I know her. Then you know she's a handful. Ich mach mal nein. No, I think she's just had some bad luck. You have to create your own good luck. I think Chloe would rather destroy. But I'm just a cop, not a psychologist, so... Mal gucken, was wir über den Sicherheitstypen von der Schule herausfinden. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? Just curious. I'm surprised he's not a police officer in Arcadia Bay. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling in Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... 
our mother. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. So. Kann ich mir denn hier freie Tischwahl oder ist das auch vom Spiel vorgegeben? Auch vorgegeben. She is a lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle, and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did, after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe must have changed a lot during that time. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> Now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? Uh, yeah. I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Bacon omelette, belgische Waffeln. Hmm. Frühstück, ich nehme das Bacon omelette. I was dreaming about your bacon omelette. Now finish your coffee. 